Hey guys, James with Newbie Drone here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and look at the brand new Hoda Dual Channel Smart Charger. This charger is going to come in two different options. The regular D6, which does not include an internal power supply, and the D6 Pro, which does include an internal power supply. So we've got both of these chargers right here. I'm going to go ahead and open the D6 Pro since the D6, the only difference is it doesn't have an internal power supply. Let's go ahead and open this box now. On the top, you're going to see we have a instruction manual that's going to give you all the specs. One side, you got Chinese. The other side, you've got English. So don't worry about being able to read that. Open this little flap, you'll see we've got a power cable that plugs directly into the wall and then into the back of the charger, set that down over there, and let's go ahead and take the charger out. The first thing I noticed taking this out of the box, it does have some good weight to it, which to me means that this is a very high quality made product. It's not cheap and made of cheap plastic and doesn't weigh anything, so I know they're using some good quality components inside there. At the top, you're gonna notice there's this little lightning bolt icon, which means this does wireless charging for your phones. So for an example, I got an iPhone 10 right here. I'll show you this a little, little later when we plug it in, but you'll just set that on the top and that can charge while you're charging some light bulbs so that's a cool little added feature on the side here we've got the scroll wheel which lets you scroll through the menus and then you've got the channel button right here which swaps between the two channels you're charging on on the back you can see we've got a XT60 connector so you can use a big lipo to power this or we've got the AC in which you would use plugging straight into the wall on the right side of the charger you can see we've got a 5 volt USB type A port that supports up to 2.1 amps out so you can use this for charging your GoPros, other accessories like that, even your cell phone and it'll charge it quickly because it does have a high amperage output. And then right here we've got a micro USB input and this is used for updating the software on the charger itself whenever they come out with patches or new features to things that make it work better. On the very front you can see we've got our two XT60 connectors, you know channel 1, channel 2 right there, and then of course the balance ports right there. And on the bottom you can see we've got this ventilation part and this nice heat sink in there so you do have some nice quality stuff to make this work as well as the cooling fan on the back right there. So let's plug this in and check it out. So I'm going to show you turning it on both ways, one with a giant LiPo to use to charge smaller LiPos or with a plug-in. So first I'm going to take this and plug this into the XT60 connector port back here. Plug that in and you can see this turns on. Okay, we've got our two channels right here. Uh, to get into the menus, you can go ahead and just select your channel. We're gonna be in channel one right there. You can press down the selector wheel. That will bring you into the task settings. Now here's where you can change all your settings and adjust everything. So for an example, this task is on charge. You can select that and you go to discharge, storage, balance, all that kind of stuff. Channel to go back battery type. Now here's where it gets cool. So right now I set on smart battery. What smart battery is, that's used for charging DJI type of batteries. This company will be offering a cord that will be used to charge DJI batteries for like the Phantom, Inspires, stuff like that. So you can use this to charge all those. That will be an optional accessory. We, but we can change it from smart battery to um, all these different types, LiPo, uh, LiPo high voltage, you know, all, all these types down here. Uh, scroll down, you can change your cell voltage to whatever battery you have right there. Then you've got your current settings, so you can adjust how many amps you want to charge your batteries at. Go ahead and get back out of that. Now I'm going to plug in the charger with the wall cord. So I'll just plug that in in the back right there. You can see that will turn on and it'll be the same exact thing. But now I want to show you the phone wireless charging. So I'm going to take this iPhone 10. This is on, so I'm going to set this down. And now you can see it is charging. So it'll show the green there, and then you can see in the top corner that it is charging. So now we're wirelessly charging our phone. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen any other chargers doing that on the market. I'm going to take that off for a second. We're going to grab our battery. I'm going to plug this LiPo into uh, channel 1 right here. Plug this in. You can see all our voltage for the cells right there. I'm going to hit channel, channel 1, hit the select. And you can see it's automatically selected the cell count 4S 14.8 volts. Uh, battery type I'm going to change to lie high voltage since this is a high voltage battery. And then I'm going to change the amperage because I don't want to charge it at 15 amps. I think that might be a little bad for it. I'm going to set this to 1 amp. Select 1 amp. Go ahead and hit start task. Battery type high voltage, that's just double checking that this is a high voltage battery, hit yes. And now you'll see the amperage will start dropping up until it hits one and then it'll stay there. And then you can see the milliamps going into the battery and then we have all the individual cell 
voltage right there. And you can also use this to scroll through to see the different uh, specs about the battery. We got voltage, we got temperature, milliwatt hours going in. So we can check out all that, which is pretty cool. And you can still wirelessly charge your phone while you're charging a LiPo. So I'll put the iPhone back on there. And you see now it's wirelessly charging again. When you're done charging, you just want to go ahead and hit the scroll wheel in, hit stop, and it stops. Or you can adjust the current of how many amps you're charging this while it's charging on the fly. So that's a quick look at the Hoda Smart Charger. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like to get your hands on one of these chargers, you can get them at newbiedrone.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.